right, folks. The first beautiful day here in St. Martin. And I'm off to go look some food right now. I'm hungry. I got a late start. It's like almost 1 p.m. So I'm doing a late lunch. But I feel for Jamaican food. So I'm on the hunt right now for the best Jamaican food. I don't know what else I might do. I might drive around, try to see what I can find that's interesting. But I'm definitely going to take you guys with me. So let's see if I can find some good jerk chicken or some oxtails, which are my favorite here in St. Martin. And after that, let's see how the day goes. So yeah, welcome to St. Martin, guys. We out here. Yeah, guys, it's a bright, sunny, blue skies. Very gorgeous day. But for now, just enjoy these views from the streets here in St. Martin. The real streets of St. Martin. But yeah, guys, so far, um, St. Martin is giving me a very great first impression because every single person that I've encountered yesterday on my first day here from the airport to the car rental to the hotel, everybody was super nice to me. And that for me was a very great first impression. Super, super amazing. And yeah, the island looks very beautiful as you can see in these clips here. And once I'm close to the ocean, oh my God, I feel at my best. I absolutely love the water, you know. I'm a water baby, I grew up like that. And by the way, if you're watching the video right now, guys, please give this video a like and leave a comment in the comment section, guys. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So guys, after driving around for quite a while, it literally led me back to my starting point, which is five minutes around the corner from my hotel. And I ended up here because I had a change of heart and decided to grab seafood instead of Jamaican today. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we just made it. This era, like the era of the hotel, this place had like one of the highest reviews or whatever. So that's why I decided to come check it out. You can smell the fresh seafood here though. But like this is the restaurant here and then it's like right next to the ocean here so I think I'm gonna have lunch here see how it goes but of course I'm gonna let you guys know what's happening what the food tastes like and stuff like that I don't mind eating here you know gotta try a new restaurant it's a new island so it is what it is hopefully the reviews online didn't lead us in the wrong direction so let's go eat Oh snap guys, guess what? It's a bunch of restaurants in here. Like, that's a restaurant, that's a restaurant, that's a restaurant. It's like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like six restaurants in total in here. I didn't even realize, but we're going to the goldfish. See, that one said doctor fish, that one says butterfish. But we're going to goldfish. Yeah. Hello. I'm really hungry, by the way. Probably gonna dine right here. Right here. Next to the ocean. So, guys, I just realized that all six restaurants in here, they're all been named after a fish. So, check this out. Like, I'm eating at, um, goldfish the goldfish restaurant next door here you have dr fish and then if i come a little bit further down well this one is close today this one is butterfish restaurant then over here you got the yellow tail and come all the way down you got the jackfish there's another one down there too but i'm just showing you guys what's going on so it's like a little village with a little strip with a bunch of restaurants but they all have fish names. That's pretty cool. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. I'm just here waiting. I ordered a lobster. Like they have a Cajun style whole lobster. So I'm just here waiting on my meal, man. Cause I'm super hungry. So yeah, we're in St. Martin. Like I said, I got a late start. Gotta get lunch now. And then I'm just gonna drive. I'm probably just gonna drive to the French side and see what we may discover today, you know? maybe find some cool spots to take some photos or whatever but we'll see wow guys the lady brought some johnny cake look at this 
very different from what well we call fried dumpling johnny cake in jamaica but this is a totally different texture so i'm gonna try it though pretty similar so a different texture though tastes almost the same Johnny cake wow guys look at that freshly caught Caribbean lobster right there Cajun style we're gonna do some damage right now so guys the owner of the goldfish restaurant just let me know that all these restaurants with the fish name they have their own personal name these fish names is what the government assigned to them however the goldfish restaurant its original name is charlie's bistro like take a look at this here see that it says charlie's bistro and goldfish so yeah feel free to come check it out look at the food here i know it's gonna be good i'm about to rip this up man like for real for real And I'm drinking Sarilo. By the way, guys, the food is pretty good. I would say eight and a half out of ten. So, about what Google says, four point eight out of five. It's pretty accurate. And I'm having like garlic lobster mixed with the Cajun Cajun sauce you can also get the Cajun by itself or garlic by itself but mine's a fusion of both real good lobster guys fresh too so we just got done eating lunch at the goldfish restaurant aka charlie's bistro and the food was pretty good guys like i said about an eight and a half out of ten so now i think i'm gonna go check out fort louise which is like on the french side and by the way the french side is saint martin not saint martin instead of m-a-r-t-e-e-n it's m-a-r-t-i-n so i'm gonna go up there to fort st louis because Based on my research, it seemed like it had pretty stunning lookout views for photos and stuff. So I'm going to go check that out now. I'm taking you guys with me, alright? All right, guys, just made it to Fort Louis. Yeah, guys, you're just hiking up to the top there to go to the lookout spot, the viewpoint. And it's a pretty easy hike. You just follow the steps there from down there, down by the cars, hike all the way, follow the steps, come up, and just keep coming up until you get to the viewpoint. All right, real nice and easy. Yeah, guys, we're hiking up to the top of Fort Louis. Let's go. All right, guys, so like I said, I'm at Fort Louis. I like, look at the view here. We're on top of the city. We're on the French side of the island. By the way, this place is very historic because I think this is where like the pirates or whoever used to fire onto the enemies there 
in the ocean, you know what I'm saying, to defend the land. But they say also neighboring island, Anguilla. You can also actually glimpse Anguilla a little bit. But look at this, man. I had to come check this out because this is indeed a viewpoint. Welcome to Fort Louis, St. Martin. Look at that, guys. Gorgeous. We're standing on top of Fort Louis right now. Wow, guys, look at this view. So awesome. Woo. And that's Fort Louis, by the way. At the top there, you see the French flag because it's on the French side of the island. But when I was reading a few of the things, the signs, literally this place, they used it to defend the island from the enemies who were firing from there. So they will fire from the wall there, out there onto the enemy. But isn't that a cool part of the history here? And if I'm not lying, guys, that island there, the one all the way over there might be Anguilla. Or maybe that one. I think that one in the far distance there. Mm -mm -mm. That's just crazy though. I love this man. I'm glad I decided to come check this viewpoint out today too. Cause it's really a sight to behold here. Woo. So yeah guys, this is the view you get when you come check out Fort Louis. Look at that. View of the city, view of the bay. Amazing amazing and like i said this place is a very historic place so you know i think it's it was like a defendant post for them to like set up how you doing ma'am set up and fight against the enemies like i said i was reading those instruction thingies and it literally told me that um this is the area here where they they would put the guns or the cannons through these holes here and fire over into the ocean onto the enemies that's pretty cool so in this hole they fire over there onto the enemy isn't that pretty cool look well you can tell man this was really a rich part of the history here you know and these little instruction things here that's what told me about them firing onto the enemies but it's it's a pretty decent hike too guys you gotta hike up from down there where you see the car come all the way up here it's not bad though it's pretty easy if i did it anybody can trust me this was a great experience though i could literally come and hang out and just sit and chill out on that view all day all day you know it's crazy but yeah, that was it for Fort Louis Viewpoint. Feel free to come check it out. Take your cool photos and stuff if you like what you just saw on the video, all right? See you guys on the next one. Thanks again for watching.